If you are into pixel art or you just want to snap to grid in general, I'm going to show you how to snap to grids in Illustrator. That's pretty much it. Let's get into it. Okay, so um, in this guy here, we just have a new document. Here's something important. Go up to view, down to the bottom. We got a couple things here. I'm going to turn off everything. Smart guides, off, not check marked. Show grid, off. Snap to grid, off. Snap to pixel, off. Snap to point, off. All these are off, okay? First thing I'm gonna do is show grid. Cause I'm snapping to the grid, right? I wanna see the grid. Now, I just thought of something and we'll get into it later, but we're just gonna start with the grid as is and then maybe we'll try to adjust the grid. But uh, here's the grid, right? If I zoom in, command or control plus, zooming in, uh, you guys should be able to see the grid now. Maybe now. Okay, it's pretty light, but you can see the grid. If I create a rectangle, I can just create a rectangle. Boom, there it is, okay? Uh, hot pink so you can see it. I can just move this around fluidly. Uh, nothing snapping yet because I have nothing turned on. If I go back to view and go down to snap to grid, watch what happens. Now, when I move this rectangle around, it's literally snapping to the grid. And if I grab this corner, it actually won't even let me snap to anything but the grid when I'm resizing this. Notice how it just does like one pixel down, another pixel down, or another grid space down. Same thing left and right horizontally. Same thing if I were to create a new rectangle out here, just creating a new one, it only lets me create inside of the grid. Which is super helpful I think if you're doing pixel art in Illustrator, which sounds super like an oxymoron, but, or contradicting. Anyway, um, that's how you snap to grid, which could be a nice thing if you're creating pixel perfect stuff. Here's what you gotta do if you want to change the grid. You go to Illustrator Preferences. On Windows, it's gonna be in slightly different spot, but just find the preferences for Illustrator um, and go to Guides and Grid. When we go there, we can determine how many pixels every grid line is going to be, and the subdivisions, which is basically the, the spaces between the darker lines, essentially. Um, and the color, all right, and lines. You can do dots, you can change the grid up if you want. So you can do, right now it's a grid line every 72 pixels, you could do every one pixel if you wanted. Uh, you can change the color if you wanna see that a little bit more, so I'm gonna make it a little bit darker, so maybe we can see the difference there. Uh, subdivisions eight, that's fine. Here, no, how about I do four, just so we can see what happens here. Grids and back, we want that. We want it into uh, behind everything. And then show pixel grid above a certain zoom level. Sure, if you want to. But anyway, hit okay. So those dots are really hard to see. So um, we're gonna go back to the preferences, back to grids and guide. And I would recommend if you're doing dots, to do them a lot darker. I'm gonna go back to lines and hit okay. All right, so here's our lines. And notice how our subdivisions between each like darker area, so the larger squares are four. We changed that to four. We made everything a little bit darker. Um, and now everything's gonna lock into that grid. So that's how you adjust the grid if you wanted to adjust, adjust it in any way. Uh, that's it. If you guys have more questions, I think this is really good for pixel perfect artwork or pixel art if you're doing that in Illustrator um, and creating like high resolution pixel art, which, 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 which would be nice. You know, like vector pixel art, there's your oxymoron. All right, you guys, uh, thanks for watching. Any questions, comments, post them down below or to the side or wherever you want to post them, I don't care. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, and subscribe. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Notification bell if you really like my videos. I'm trailing off. I'll see you guys later.